Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the items that we have thrifted and we tell you what we paid for, what we're gonna sell it for, and what, if anything, we are going to do with it. Um, tonight, I'm excited. I tried to kind of organize things a little bit by like what they were, but it is a little bit of an eclectic mix. That's what happens when you thrift with your husband. Well, and we have a lot of uh, vintage things. There's some antiques mixed in, some newer things that we're gonna make over that are just out of date and may need a makeover. So, you know, we've got a lot of things. About 42 million salt and pepper shakers is gonna be coming at you as soon as we clear a path. If you collect salt and pepper shakers, I got you. If you want to shop along, visit jamierayvintage.com. Click Saturday Thrift Hall off the menu. Everything is listed there, including everything that we have in our shop um, that hasn't sold from past thrift halls. Caitlin is on here dropping links. Um, and if you have any questions, let us know. I was probably pretty quiet. Luckily, the mic was just right over there. All right, <laughs> All right. I'm going to show these two things because they're huge. Um, this is... Uh, it says like on time art studio Inc 1978 and then it has AppSit on the back in here so probably the original artist but someone probably did this in one of those where you go paint it yourself glaze it and then they fire it for you we're gonna repaint it we're it's got some chips and some dings it's very heavy so I can't hold it out here for long but a woman and her two daughters I'm assuming they're her daughters. She's looking at them lovingly. Uh, it's going to be $69.95 once we get this painted. And for size reference, like, look how big that is next to me. Show your forearm. We haven't done like, forearm I can't get my now. forearm up in there. It's like a solid 16 inches tall. Odelia's on here. <laughs> Something like that, close to there. Uh, but that's going to get painted, so it's going to go over here in this pile. Odelia's over at Carly's house. All that's right. one of the can makeovers. Can anybody guess, if you didn't watch the video, can you guess who bought that statue? Yeah, who bought that? I don't, I'm like, I have lots of cute stuff, all the slightly different stuff that you bought. Hey, but you bought this clock, and usually it's me buying the clocks. This is a Howard Miller. Uh, it's actually designed to hang on the wall like this, but it doesn't sit on the island very good. How much did you pay for this? You must. It must have been on the that front. That was $5. $5 for a Howard Miller clock. Um, and this is, are we painting it or leaving no, it wood? As is. As is. This is going to be $49.95. They usually sell for about $100 on up, so I never pass a Howard Miller clock. Also, I feel like it's worth noting that on last week's Rift Hall, one of the very first comments after it was live said, why does he keep interrupting her? <laughs> I wanted to hug them. Because usually it's people saying it's that I Because I have to you. jump in. I have to jump in or I don't get a chance. Your stories are very long. <laughs> yes, they are. Um, all right. And I love them. Yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I do too. It's okay. You got to listen to them for a very long time. So it's okay if you don't love every single one. <laughs> uh, this was $4 for this tote, I believe. At least that's the tag. $3. Yeah, $3. $3. Zed, Zed purchased this one. It's weird because it's... there's a bottle opener and it says organic, local, and then has coffee on the side. And yeah. I'm like... How much coffee do you open with a bottle opener? Daily Rise know. Coffee. Um, maybe they're adding some extra special things to their coffee. I don't know. Thanks, Amy. She said she loved our craft kit video that we did live today. When we clear us some space, we'll show you what this quarter's craft kit is. I have it over to the side here. And if you haven't seen that craft kit video, definitely check it out. If Caitlin has a second, maybe she can drop the link in the comments for you guys. So the tote was $3.00. Um, I'm probably going to sand it down, get that. It's because it's just stamped. It's going to get painted or something. Yeah, it's going to be $24.95 when we're done making it over. And there are very few painted totes that we do that don't sell. They always sell well. So no, yeah. speaking of a tote that's not getting painted, I actually like the natural wood look. Apparently, it's coming back. So I thought, I'm going to leave it as is. Plus, I happen to be headed out of the country next week, and so I'm trying to limit my workload. So if this doesn't sell, I actually think it would be cute to leave this natural wood and then just paint the trees like a really good forest green. Yeah. Uh, I and also, then I'll charge 10 bucks more. <laughs> something fun on here. These are like brad nails that are nailed onto the side. So it's not just like stapled or glued on. These are pretty sturdy. Um, I like that a lot, that little design aspect. And Homemade. how much was it and how much were we selling it for? It was $4. We're selling it for $24.95. 
There you go. All so the, all the if you want it as is, you got to buy it. Otherwise, I'll probably paint it. So I think it would be cute that way. All right, next up, we have this really cute milk glass hermetic jar. These are actually my favorites. I don't know that I've seen a milk glass hermetic oh, jar. Oh, I've thrifted them before. You've seen them because I bought them. Okay. It was $2 and I'm selling it for $9.95. We have a lot of hermetic jars tonight. Some have already sold. Let's move this over. If you don't know why things are already selling, it's not like a, hey, I want that as we show it. Once we go live, all the items are live on the website. So oh, yeah. go, go jump over there and get them if you see something. Yeah, people have been want. shopping. My phone has been going bing, 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 because it all goes live at once. But we don't make our thrift haul live until 725 on Saturday night. And it's funny because it, we have a bunch of new people that have started following us and they don't know. So they like see the thrift video on Monday. They're like, when is it going live? And I'm like, Saturday night at 830 Mountain Time. Come rain or shine. So the book, this is World's Greatest Literature Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. But the book itself is really cool. It kind of it's kind of reminiscent of a uh, a uh, Reader's Digest, but big printed pic of old Ben there. And you could even leave it in your fancy book new holder. recipe book holder. Ta da! So the book is nine dollars. Um, I'm not sure what Jamie paid for the book. Usually we pay a dollar to two dollars for hardcover books at our thrift store. I think I paid two dollars. And then this is actually only three dollars. Yeah. And I'm selling for $29.95. These always sell really well for this. And all this needs, it's really greasy. So we will get it will get a dawn scrub down and some warm soapy water, and it'll look brand new and it's gonna be $29.95. We were and trying actually if it doesn't sell, I have a really cute cookbook in the shop. We were trying Actually, to thrift things that didn't need painted, but some things I feel like we, we did pretty good. We, we did all right, but some I just wasn't finding a lot, especially in the yard, because I was going and there was good stuff in the yard, but I'm like, I can't pass it because it because it needs painted. I have to get it. So somebody <laughs> asked about seeing the us build this house that we live in. Um, Caitlin, would you mind hopping on YouTube and grabbing the playlist for the farmhouse there, um, and drop that in the in the. I think it's over a hundred videos on the house build because it took us a year and a half. And I oh, did, I did a video a week, sometimes two. It might be less than that, but it's a lot of videos. Thanks for sharing, Pam. If you guys are on Facebook or if you are on YouTube and you want to hop into Facebook and hit that share button, we do pick two people to send happy mail to every week. And we're going to be making the announcement for this week's um, happy mail here in probably about twenty minutes. All right, this was a dollar fifty, just a French style butter bell. This is just a plain white, really classic look. It's going to be eleven ninety five. Butterbells always sell well, well for us. We sell them for like twenty four new. So whenever I find a used in good condition one, I pick them up. So somebody said they wanted to know what I'm going to do with this. They were excited. I'm actually going to do zero things to it other than clean it. It has a. It's a jewelry holder. It's actually from yeah. Pottery Barn. Odelia has the exact same one in her room. It's a silver plate on the bottom. It looks vintage, but it's not. And then it's got this really tall cloche. If you got it from and, Party Barn new, it'd probably be like 150 bucks. Yeah. And just this cloche, legit, as big as this is, if I were to buy a wholesale, would be probably be like $80, $90 just for this. Yeah. Well, it's and it's insane. like got like a vintage green tint to it too. Yeah. It does have a slight little baby chip down here, but nothing crazy. And once you put it in its place, it's good. It does have tape over here I need to take off. Um, but so cute and it's going to be $69.95 and I think I paid like $5 at Goodwill for it. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good And deal it's got the jewelry Goodwill. holder in the middle. So thanks for sharing, Jeannie. We did really good at Goodwill this week. Um, we don't shop there that often because it's not close to home. It's like 20-ish minutes from our house. Yeah, I'd say a solid 20, maybe 25. But a lot of our high-end items came from Goodwill because yeah. This is a um, apothecary cloche, also from Pottery Barn. It has the original like Pottery Barn sticker underneath it. Um, and Someone I unloaded their Pottery Barn collection. Paid six dollars <laughs> for it at Goodwill, five ninety nine, and I'm selling it for fifty nine ninety five. It is probably the largest apothecary jar we've ever found. Yeah, it's huge. I yeah. like the lid on here is bigger than most of our apothecary jars by itself. Oh, that's funny. Zeb Sheree said, I thought farm was etched on the glass until you took the glass off and I realized it was your sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this sweatshirt. I don't know if we still carry these or not. Maybe we do. Um, it says farm mama, which I feel like is appropriate, even if you don't have animals and you have kids, because sometimes I feel like I'm running a funny farm. It was a funny farm yesterday. 
Today wasn't too bad. Zeb left me while I was trying to edit that video that I put up last night. If you guys haven't checked it out, please do because we made 5 million Christmas ornaments and reset the shop and did a little Christmas display. And Actually only 30, but it felt like 5 million. took forever to go. It took forever to film, but I finally got it up and the kids were like kind of picking at each other the whole time. And I was on... I would, let's just say like mom mental breakdown mode. I'm like, you left me here with these children. I told you to take Jack to the garden. And he's like, you know, what was your answer? Because he I promised, was, he promised what? I was going to take Jack with me, but I had a talk with Jack before I went and I gave him an option. I learned not to give Jack an option. He promised he would behave. But and I, was I also like, wisely said, how come you can't handle your own children? <laughs> that was not a good idea. I can, not when I have to edit a video in an hour so we can get to a football game. And so it's so funny. Like I edited that you video. You should have seen the dagger eyes coming my way. I edited yesterday's video, did not watch it through. I just said a prayer and hit render because it's over 20 minutes long, which means it was going to take a half an hour to render. And so I literally watched it after the football game and I'm like, I know I asked for a lot of blessings, but if you could just make sure I didn't do anything stupid in this video edit, that would be great. And luckily for me, it turned out okay. <laughs> yeah. It could have been real bad. Also, right. Lehigh won. It was a great day. They finished in the third seed in the entire 6, 6A class for uh, for Utah. Super exciting about that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It means the playoffs are going to be a breeze, and we might have a chance to state again. Sandy said Zeb with two exclamation marks. Right, Sandy? <laughs> As you were picking in the garden, probably chatting with somebody. I have been a phone. father for over 21 years. And we've been married for longer than that, obviously. 22. And I still couldn't help myself. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> you think I cute. would know better, right? <laughs> and then we get to the football game. I say, are you going to hold my bag? And he doesn't hear me. I'm like, and so, because he doesn't, he usually just grabs it and doesn't let me take it. And I'm like, Zeb, are you going to grab the bag? And he looks at me and he goes, if you ask me nicely. And I was like. I did. You didn't hear me. And Odelia's with us. And Deb and I very, like, I shouldn't say very seldom, but we really don't argue that much. And she's like, oh my gosh, I don't even know what's going on. She's like, I just want to watch football. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Come to find out, neither one of us had eaten since breakfast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was also a problem. But at halftime, I got a piece of pizza. We were fine. All right, show them the butter Back dish. to the thrift haul. We're good. That was a pretty serious segue. And we've got a big haul. This is like <laughs> giant thrift haul here. All right. <laughs> $13 for this. I think Jamie paid a buck for it at the Deseret Industries Thrift Hall, which is the thrift hall that, or the thrift store that's uh, predominantly here. It's going to be $13, $13.95. Right, I'm just, just looking to see it. what has sold already. So can we show them the mini hermetic jars? All of those have already sold. I think they went to one customer. We can. They're so tiny. They're so little and cute. And they were $2.95 for the entire box. The entire box also came with a chalkboard marker. I can neither confirm nor deny that it's still moist. Yes, it is. I did oh. it on my finger. Okay. And it also came with some labels. So I'm just going to put them all back in the box if you are the one that ordered them and send you all the labels and the chalk marker because you bought all of them. So I'm going to send all the. All now, there are only you. nine. Yeah, I said nine. Okay. Because it said The 12. box says 12, but the listing and the picture says nine because that's all that there was in it. All right, I want to show you guys something cuz I'm going to forget if I don't show you soon. These are these are wood uh, cedar hangers that I picked up with this in mind. This is the what I wanted. The picture is not impressive because I just took pictures of the cedar hangers but then Zeb added art. So I did this with them and I think that they look really awesome hanging. How much are these each, Jamie? 29.95. So what we will the do- The bundle of hangers was $1.50. Because this is not decoupage paper, we can't like bend it or anything. So what we're going to do is this is going to get shipped with two pieces of cardboard on each side. And then we will tape the cardboard so that way it doesn't bend. And then this will come like separately in that. So if you're wanting to thrift or purchase cedar hangers to do something similar, just remember that you are going to have to be very particular about how you ship your artwork. So these are $29.95 each. How much did you pay for the pack of three hangers? $1.50, I believe, yeah. So you really aren't paying for the hanger. You're paying for the art. But they are really cool. I did glue a little strip of wood on the back to help them hang. Yeah. Like, I did work. Yeah, there was work. There was some hot glue gunning involved. I also had to format this to fit this vertical image here. You know Zeb loves the art. So we're going to be searching. I'm going to bring them close because they're so good. And this art, 
we if you haven't heard we got a giant printer this is going to be coming to you in big size i can print up to 44 inches wide i told him we are not shipping anything until he figures out how it can ship safely i think we're going to roll it and put it in tubes yep we'll, That's have, the plan we'll have to get some tubes and figure that out but so we're going to the get there probably close. by january we should be able to have it to our wholesalers um we just have to perfect a lot of things Thanks, Elsie. All right, I'm gonna put these back where they were, say carefully. What? what? Oh, those, yes. sorry. She said, I'm glad I got to hang out with you at Debbie's. I can't wait to see you again. She's really fun. I like if hanging you guys out have with her, follow. she's pretty awesome. You've never met her. I'm talking about you. Oh, <laughs> I was like, you were with me. All right, hey, Vicki. All right, Corey says he loves the hanger prints. Um, Those are cool, huh, Corey? Everybody loves them. So hopefully they sell well. And we'll it's just cedar hangers. We'll keep you guys posted on how well they sell. I'm going to try, when I get back from England, to get in the habit of once a month, we're going to do a what sold this month video. I just have to, like, save the clips somewhere um, from when I bought it and be a little more organized because um, I think that would be fun. I should, I should tell you guys that most of what we buy sells just not always the same week. Like as much as goes in, comes out, it just is varying items. We've had a out. few things for a while, but I don't think there's anything in there that we've had more than like two to three years max. And for how much inventory we have, that's pretty good because we have a lot. Ooh, Patty's here too. All right. This Hi, is a little vintage tin. Uh, how much, Jamie? You, you pulled all the prices off Oh, of it these. was a dollar. Okay. I still need to take off this bear sticker in the back. Um, I already did a good amount of scrubbing on it. I can't remember who it was, but somebody commented they had one of these. They're like 70 something years old and they had one of those and um, they were a teenager. Or so a it says Sage, Thyme, Bay. Made in Mace. the USA. Yeah, made in the USA. It's S Chine, J Chine. Yes, and yep. Co. Made in USA. It does right. have a little rust. It's been used. Sally Von's wool is here and she gave us a super chat oh. and said, it's so good to see you guys. It's Thank good you, to, Sally. I guess I can't really see you, but it's good to see your name, Sally. How is the weather down in the Valley of the Sun? You know, she's having perfect weather right now. It's that time of year. I, there's some places that are like 90. That's hot. Oh, to that's me. still too hot. It was like 74 <laughs> today, and that was so good. So much better than Thursday's weather. Weather. Yeah. I can't even talk. All right. All right. This is, I believe, a little ornament for your Christmas tree. Yep. Jamie's like, look at that cute little birdhouse. I'm like, that's like a bee house. It's a birdhouse ornament. I paid a dollar and I'm going to sell for $4.95 and I think it's so cute. I'm not going to paint it up. If I was going to paint it, I would sell it for more. But I think if I just clean it up, it'll be cute as is. I don't know that it needs painted. I like the coloring on it. Patty says, I'm always here, usually after multitasking, trying to stay awake on the East Coast. Yeah, it is a little bit later. That's, People... that's pretty solid staying awake because that's a... It's like 11 o'clock uh, by the time we get done over yeah. there. People always <laughs> ask us like, well, why didn't you go earlier, kids? Because usually Saturday night by 8.30, they're off doing something, which they all are. We actually farmed done. them all out tonight. Yeah, they're all they're at all friends' done. houses. Or the dogs like a, are in grandma's room. Like, it is quiet in the a house. All festival situation. Hanging out. It's going to be triple digits in Tucson next week. You're going to have to tease your sister. I am going to have to tease her. My sister lives in Tucson, and uh, she's always like, oh, there's 113 down here today. I'm like, oh. It, bro it broke Bummer. like 98 today. Because we're about to have real crappy weather and she's going to teach you. So, yeah. all right, show them your, my cast iron bowl. $3 for this cast iron, like, urn bowl. And that is amazing because cast iron is spendy. New cast iron is spendy. The we cheapest were... I could find this style was $70 online, but some of them went well over 100 Yeah, this is perfect for outdoors. It's basically indestructible. It's going to be $42.95. Forty-two ninety-five. All right. Did Sally say? Did Sally respond? I do want to see it. Beautiful weather. That's what she said. We figured. All right. This figured, is figured. just a galvanized like planter vase, flower bucket. I loved the little collar around it, and the galvanized is good. It's like already older and aged, even though I don't know that that was done on purpose. It might just be sitting around for a while. Sony might have just put it outside. Yeah, it was a dollar fifty. We're selling it for nine ninety five. Doesn't need anything. It's ready to go. One of my absolute favorite finds <laughs> is this dish. It is um, careful with those handles. They look delicate. It is Wedgwood. 
uh, made in England. This is the Queen's Shape. Um, it does need to be cleaned up. That's it's actually got... a big deal because she doesn't approve too many things. If it says the Queen, it must be good. Um, it's got some gummies on it because it had like tape holding this on. It was $5.99 at Goodwill. The cheapest I found it online was $124. The highest I found was $200. And I'm selling for $89.95. And as far as I can tell, it's in really good condition. Um, there's a little bit of imperfections, but not like chips in it that I, I feel can like see. imperfections are pretty normal for most pottery and glazing. Like yeah. the chance that you're going to get like a perfect 100%, like you might get it's one good. out of a batch of 100 yeah, I was so excited to find this. And we sell a lot of soup tureens and covered dishes in our shop. So I'm going to add that to our, our repertoire. Um, Nico says, I used to hang vintage maps on those old hangers in my shop once upon a time. Ooh. Zeb, we do need to come up with some vintage maps. That would be fun. I, Zeb I have maps. like hundreds of vintage maps just waiting to be printed. He's prepared. For all eventualities of Google being gone and needing vintage maps. You want to know what the world looked like 200 years ago? Zeb knows. There may come a time. <laughs> Any updates on Buttercup? No. She's swollen in the behind. That's all we're going to yeah, say. Yeah, she looks like she's starting to progress. But we're still, we're like a week out and I'm probably going to be gone. And she's going to do that to me. Like if she was a week late, then we'll be right back on time. But she's probably going to have it while we're gone. England. That's uh, what cows, right? <laughs> this She'll is, be fine. She will be fine. We got her. She's got it covered. We got a laundry list. Of I got like three Delia. guys that have like grown up in dairies standing by. So and Grandpa Sam. And yep, Grandpa Sam. All right, let's and talk. Jess about these. next door. He's an old cattle guy. Um. So Mikasa, these are the cordon bleu. They were a dollar fifty each. They're going to be six ninety five. Just a couple of bowls. They've got kind of like a little speckle in the glazing. I think they're really pretty. Yeah, they they're almost look Japan. like an oatmeal. I feel like some of the more modern makasa isn't all made in Japan. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong, but these ones are made in Japan. Can you see the? It's like an oatmeal colored speckle. It kind of looks black on camera, but it's oatmeal colored. This is a really cool um, ceramic pitcher. It's got like some chinks in it, some like imperfections in the glaze got a little dark edge around it. It's probably not actually old, but it's super cute. It was $3 and we're selling it for $24.95. Want this one too? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm about to show all my salt and pepper shakers. I think we got room soon. You ready for salt and pepper palooza? Okay. Then I can just respond to comments for about 42 minutes. No, I'll be fast. Okay. We're going to rapid fire them. Caitlin, you might want to just do like a salt and pepper uh, search. And then just include that entire search. There will be a few other salt and pepper shakers that show up. That's probably the easiest way to link these because there's a lot. Before you do that, this is a SIG candlestick. I'm thinking this is pewter. It's very heavy. It's very heavy. And it's but not, it's hollow. So that it's like whatever it's made out of is very dense. Yeah. Um, and it's made in Germany and it's got like the lions underneath. It does have like some scratches in the pewter. It was $1.99 and I'm selling it for $9.95. I wish it had a pair. Oh, thanks for the super chat. Kelly says, buy some copper. I will. You know we're going to be Even looking for Even if I don't it. buy any like that I'm going to resell, I have some here that I must sell if I buy some pieces for myself. We might not find as much as last time because we're not planning on heading over into France for various reasons. Okay. So I'm going to rapid fire these. A lot of these are like souvenir type collectors. I love that this is like salt and pepper on the back. Um, but if you want it to be Michigan, it can be water wonderland. They're, um, they're not I need to hide my face. So that's blurry. That's blurry. Okay. There we go. Okay. Michigan. So these range anywhere from six ninety five to twenty two ninety five. It would take too long. Who to had to up. list all those shakers for the first time in the world history of me saying, I'm not listing these. If you buy them, you did offer twice, actually. I did because I'm nice. I know. you. Yeah. <laughs> but Zeb actually either did. that or you're a glutton for punishment. Zeb did it because I listed everything else. So these guys need a good scrub. Some of these need like really seriously scrubbed before we send them out. But a couple little piggies, they're magnetic. I love that. Um, and these are these are from Mexico, uh, but also one of my favorites. Um, and then this was... Are they, where's the outhouse ones? The outhouse ones are coming up. This Those one, ones have sold. This one here is probably one of... This is like old, like... Uh, 
mid-century modern diner style and they've got the silver s and p it could just be tin on there but it also has an s and a p for pepper and salt on there um i think these ones are close to the 22.95 they might be less than that but i think these, these i need ones, to move off these camera. ones were going for like 30 40 dollars online when all i right. looked them up because it tries to get a hold of my face i'm only going to show a few more sets i could be here all day if you look at the collection there's a ton of stuff these are Okay, is it there we Inesco. go? Nesco. These are, I believe, uh, made in Japan, little mice salt and pepper shakers. A couple of these don't have stoppers, and I priced them accordingly. Someone was asking about these. I can't remember your name. I'm sorry. These ones don't have their stoppers, they're kind of like uh, antler pipes. Um, I think those sold. It says Fort Cody, North Platte, Nebraska. Yeah, those did. They, they don't have the stopper, so I priced them pretty inexpensive honestly i just go on amazon measure the size look up the cork and just pop a cork in there but these also have the s and p on them um and then let's see i believe this is also a nesco um from japan just uh, this this one here and i this one was going for like 40 bucks on some sites but it's missing the plug on the this looks like the uh it's kind pepper. of blurry still. I, I, I need to. I'm trying anyway. to stay off camera to help it not like focus, but maybe just tap it. Yep. There, there you go. go. You can see how cute Look how that cute that is. is. So. How much is that set? I don't know. All right. Um, if you guys want to see them up close, you can go to the website or watch the thrift video from Monday. I did a close up of all of them on there. Some Arizona Saguaros. Oh, show my favorite, the yeah, Avon ones. I'm, Mine I'm, and my mother. I got like three more sets to show. There's actually 32 sets in total. All right, so these are vintage Avon. Everything's vintage Avon these days, I think. <laughs> um, but very cool. And then this is this is like a they're like almost like a mercury glass, and then this is like silver plate. Uh it might just be um I don't know, maybe it's not plate. I lied, it's plastic. The lids are plastic, but either way, those were also going for a pretty penny online. And then these are the two kitchen maids. I wanted to show this and then we'll, we'll move on from the salt and pepper shakers. Um, these two gals, They're they cute. go hand in hand. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So good news is you sold two sets, which equals almost $25, which is what you paid for all the sets. Yeah, some of these. So now everything you sell is gravy. You've made your investment back. So some of these styles, like this is this is just like a piece of a log cut in half, and then it's got some sayings there. This is from Zion's National Park. These owls are like Washington, D.C. owls. Oh, I need to show this one because it's really cool. <laughs> So it's like one more and then one more, one more. I, I got some California oranges for you guys. Those are cute. These are cool. They say California on them. Yep. Um, and then this one here, this is mom and pa outhouse. Deborah said that my mom <laughs> had the silver ones. She told us that when we had them all out, she's like, yeah. I used to have those. And I was funny because I'm pretty sure your mom I, had everything Avon sold. That it, well, you know, who sold Avon is my sister, Deborah. <laughs> she was her she dealer. She had to support your, her daughter. My sister, right? Your I'm, I'm like 99% sure Deborah sold Avon. I'm, I'm pretty sure she did. If I remember, because she always had all the skin so soft stuff to keep the bugs away. I was, I was raised slathered in skin so soft. Salt and pepper shakers were made as a destination souvenir. We actually knew that. Um, and uh, was, what was the, with tires? Oh, the Michelin. We also learned that the Michelin star was because they raided restaurants to get people to use their car to wear out their tires to buy more tires. Yep. Michelin's very smart. I was like, that is the most brilliant marketing plan. Your ever. mother says the oranges are cute shakers. I knew that if your mom was on here, she would like those because she likes all things little and cute. Yeah, there's a lot of fun ones in there. I couldn't Deborah leave it. Deborah was an Avon lady. I could, Avon calling. I could not leave it there at the thrift store. It was 25 bucks for that whole box. I was fine with buying them. I just didn't want to list them. So in I, true Jamie fashion, I let them know that and Zeb listed them. So, okay. Um, this is a gar, car, I can't read that, Carter. 
Hoffman original. It is a triangle dish. I actually bought it. There's three images on here, but the one with the horse, but there's one with like horse and buggy and then a barn, but the one with the cow is my favorite. Can you fix the camera zip? Yeah. Kelly says she loved the mini lipsticks. Diana sold Avon too. Who knew it was going to be super collectible? All right, let's see if we can get this cow to focus up. <laughs> Some of the salt and pepper shakers didn't show in the link she shared due to spelling issues. Spelling? Like pepper? Like you misspelled salt and pepper? Oh, it kept wanting to do an O, like P-O-P-E-R. Don't say it. It's dangerous. Popper? No, P-E-O-P-E-R. Instead of two P's in the middle. I don't know. I don't know what you're trying to spell. But anyways, we'll fix that. If you want to see all the salt and pepper shakers, if you just go to the website, to the Saturday Thrift Talk collection, they should all be lumped together because Zeb listed them at the same time. Caitlin, you're supposed to catch all my spelling errors. That would have been a lot. Okay, let's talk creamers. Like 32 listings of salt and pepper shakers. Ray Dunn um, was $1.99, and I'm selling it for $7.95. We have the Federalist Ironstone Creamer made in Japan. It was $2. I'm selling it for $6.95. We have the false graph. It, this is the Yorktown print. Um, I have quite a bit of it in the shop, but I try to only carry the really fun things. I don't really buy like plain plates and bowls much anymore. Um, this was $2.99 and I'm selling it for $6.95. I'd like to let the world know that just because you pay a certain price for something doesn't mean there's like a calculation of how much you mark it up because I paid $3 for this and Market I sold it for six. Market value is what you can get. I paid $2 for this and I sold it for seven. I sell things based off of market value. That's how it is. Um, I'm going to show this mug really fast because okay. it won't be good far away. That one's really cute. I'm already starting to think Valentine's Day, and so this will be a perfect Valentine's Day mug. It won't last. Someone's going to get it today. It's got puppies and dogs on it and a little boy hiding a heart, <laughs> sneaking up True. to a little girl. But if you don't, I feel like Valentine's Day is one of those holidays. It's really hard to get enough good stuff because a lot of it's really cheesy. So I try to buy it as often as I can and then at least have one small Valentine's display. So the mug is $7.95. All right. Another little creamer, $0.99, cents, $6.95. See the theme here? I paid $3 for this, $6.95. Paid $1 for this, $6.95. It's about what it's worth, not about what I paid. All right, all, those are all the creamers. Let me show the, um, the reamer. Juicer. Now, if this was depression glass, it'd be worth like 50 bucks. Nice. But it's plain glass. And so it was $3.99 and I'm selling it for $14.95. And it's got, I can't remember when Caitlin links it. Um, I've got like the official name for this pattern. It's like squares and has lines. It's really pretty. So this is, this creamer also came... In, Hazel Atlas glass. That's what this is. Oh, this nice. cross reamer. So this creamer came in with the salt and pepper that's shakers. That's a teapot. Or teapot, whatever. I called it a creamer because I thought it was very small for a teapot. Nico says, always loves a ju love a juicer. Me too. And the vintage juicers sell well in my shop. So this is, I believe, $13.95, $12.95, something like that. I didn't mark it on there. I missed it. But this was in with the $25. So I, I have like 32 sets plus that. And there were some other things in there that we just, I gave to Jack and I don't know what he did with them. They were like, like Eiffel Tower type stuff from New York, you know, um, things like that. But so 30, what's 33 items. Oh, you gave them all by, the random little things? Divided by 25. It was less than a dollar a set. Weren't, Zeb, aren't we always trying to de-junk Jack's room? I told him to get rid of them once he looked at them. You so know they're probably didn't. in there. They're probably in this window. <laughs> okay, so this um, was five ninety nine, and it's a candlestick, and I believe it was. It looks like angel wings, like. Yeah, I can't remember the name of this. Hazel Atlas is vintage. Yeah. Um, I know. Is Holly Hobby a different brand of reamer? I don't know. They're going back and forth. I looked it up. Google told me. Uh, Hazel Atlas. So that's what I went with. This um, is 1995 for this particular. It's a candlestick and I just love the detail on it. I can't remember the manufacturer. Oh, it's a Queen Anne Crystal Eagle 6 double light candlestick. 1995. That's what Google told me. <laughs> and then the next thing I have is this three-tiered dish. When we found it, it like had, they were like all stacked up. So I didn't know if it fit. So we had to take it apart at the shop. And they all work together. And I've actually not found one of these before. 
I think it'd be really cute for like a relish tray or a candy dish for the holidays. Yeah, it's good. It's ready for things. Jan says, oh, let Jack keep his stuff. We will, and then you can come over and help him clean his room. <laughs> it gets bad. He is so much happier since we moved rooms because he got rid of everything. I mean, Jack isn't one to play with stuff. Like, he plays with Legos a lot, but everything else he doesn't, and he literally had to manage it. He's getting it. more into Nerf guns, but I'm going to try to lean him towards Airsoft, and we'll take him and his brother to the po property and, you know. Yeah, and I let him keep four Nerf guns. Uh, I felt like that was reasonable. Yeah, he told me he, he's really eyeballing one right now. And he's like, I have to get rid of one, but can I get this new one? I'm like, why is that new one going to be better than your old one? And he had like he had like a 20-minute explanation why well, he needed it. Well, I told him he could have four <laughs> Nerf guns, one for each hand and a backup for each hand. So that's that made sense to him. Okay, so this was, I think, five, four or $5. I it can't remember. It was $4.99. $4.99. And it came with the spoon. I'm listed these separately because I had somebody specifically request the spoon. Hopefully so they got hopefully it. Hopefully they got it. I don't know. Um, the spoon is $6.95. It's tarnished silver and it's got like, a, I don't even know. It looks like some sort of fig. Here, let me maybe, bring it close. Pattern in it. And then $39.95 for the silver. It's hard because it's tarnished. Yeah. So it's the spoon sold separately, but it's the same listing. They're just variants. So the Leonard server is $39.95 and then $9.95 or $6.95 for the spoon. Jan says she'll be right here. Wait till you see what, what kind of mess that boy can make. I really think the best thing that we can teach our children is to save the things that are important, but to manage their collections or their collection will manage them. So the more you have to take care of, the more there is to take care of. So if you just really just save just the things that you use and love, then you have a lot more time for other things. My problem is, is that I've got a tool for every season. And I do eventually need them all, but not all at once. <laughs> I mean, it happens. And Zeb, we have plenty of room for all of Zeb's tools. You know Jack will take over your business someday, probably. Yes. Jack, Ojelia loves the junk too. Eliza loves to organize it. I don't know that she loves the junk as much, but she's really good at shipping. So, okay. Next up, this is a Gottinger cake plate. And it does have a chip. I it's on the bottom side. So when you flip it listing. over to use it as a punch bowl or a relish tray, because it's got individual, There's a little chip. Uh, it's divided here. And I will, is it sharp? Oh, yeah, I'll sand that. I'll will just you remember? Take some two, I'll go do it right now. Show them some more stuff. <laughs> I paid $3 for it. And because of the chip, this is only $36.95 instead of being like $69.95. Vicky says, now I buy vintage, display it, then sell it. Yep. Oh, I need That's how I that. do it. We need to take this back apart. <laughs> Cynthia says, wouldn't it be nice if we all did that? You'd have no customers. I think that you can do vintage and enjoy items without like letting it control. Like you ha just have to rotate stuff. Like if you buy something new from me, then buy it, sell something, give something away. Like I do that a lot. If I don't need something um, and it's not something that fits into my resale repertoire, we typically just give it away to somebody else that could use it. All right, so this is 220 grit. You could get crazy and go with 1,000 grit if you didn't want it to be a little cloudy in this section, but it's such a small little scratch chip that I'm not even going to know it's there. Now if someone grabs this and they don't know the chip's there, it's not going to cut them. Ta-da! It's really pretty. And it also keeps it from splintering more, like it kind of rounds it out and makes it more resilient. It's probably one of the prettiest more. cake plates that we've ever thrifted. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, this little plate is $3.95. It's Corel Ware. Just really like the cornflower uh, pattern on it, and I paid 75 cents for it. So I think these are pretty inexpensive to start with. I, I paid like $75. Oh, $1.50 each. So $1.50 each. So I overpaid because I think they're $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> what? These are not. These are vintage. Are okay. Not? I think they are older, but someone was like, I think those are from the Dollar Tree. No, because the resin is like. It's the old hard plastic. And even if it is, when we're done with them, it ain't going to look like that. So we, we are I going bought to, these with the intention of painting these. We're going to take them the, mixture, the mirrors out, put on a really cool paint finish, usually a couple of colors, maybe even some salt wash, make them look old, and then they'll be $14.95. Yep. There you go. They're going to be cool. The tarnished spoon I had in the past, it was called a cranberry uh, serving spoon. Perfect. Kelly just got, her hubby just got home opening day of deer hunting. Was he oh. able, was he, did he score anything good for dinner? I saw the funniest thing about deer hunting today and I could, I could relate to it. It was about <laughs> spending a lot of time and a lot of money to get all the equipment and go out in the woods and 
freeze and not see anything. He's like, and, <laughs> and I saw an unlicensed squirrel fight. An unregistered squirrel fight is what he called it. Because <laughs> last year, Zeb and I went out to try to fill our freezer for winter. And we heard some elk and we saw many deer and we hiked many miles. That was all that happened. Yeah. It was an armed nature hike. <laughs> and our freezer was still empty. But it was a good time. We learned some things. And this year we're going to England. So I didn't really learn time. anything I didn't already know. But Jamie was like, I learned up. some things. She's like, I learned that Zeb likes to hike up and down canyons. I love it so much, actually. All right. This was $2. This urn slash vase. I like it the color it is. It's got really good crazing in it um, in the glaze. And it's a great color. It was two bucks. It's going to be $19.95. We're just going to scrub this one down. It's got a little bit of kitchen fur on it and then move it along. Dawn and warm water. All right. This one I did mention and show a picture in the listing. It has like this chip in the lid. It's kind of hard to tell. So that was either fixed at the factory because it's got glaze over the top or someone nail like sealed it? it or nail polished it with like a high gloss huh. on that chip because that is the chip is not sharp. And it is glazed over. Well, this was 99 cents and we sold it for $12.95 and it already sold. So somebody else loved it. I just love it because this actually looks to me like something I expect to find while we're over in Europe. Oh, yes. it's $3.99. Sorry, not nine. Oh, the, the bottom says 99. I hope you got the 99. I don't know. I don't know what I got. Well, $12.95, either way. I don't know if I kept that receipt. It's fine. I'm not going back. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if there's any probably keep all the okay. receipts, but I don't. Because if I bought it from the Goodwill, it's a business expense. A business. All right. <laughs> we're going to keep going. So Deb and I, we're not sure. He thought this was for K-cups, but it turns out this is for eggs, which we probably should have known. This sells for $30. No, I always thought it was for eggs, but I'm like, is it one of those Keurig things or is it for eggs? I was on the, I was on. Are you uh, going to send an egg down the egg hatch? No, I don't think, I don't think I'm brave enough to roll it all the way down. I'm going to set it here. And load it up. Okay, just one. We don't have time to load these up here. Watch okay, you okay. take one, and then the other one. And they, they fill down. Okay. <laughs> it was thirty dollars on Amazon when I looked it up. We paid three dollars, and we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. I just think it's cool, and it rotates. It's like a rotisserie. We're doing pretty good. There's a lot of most of the stuff doesn't need painted. I was on a mission. All right, giant polished aluminum. Made in India, vase. It's very Art Deco style. Was three dollars, and we're selling it for thirty eight ninety five. I think it's really cool. It's just a really nice piece. All right, we're gonna have to rapid fire because a lot of stuff over there. What time is it? Nine seventeen. All right, we have thirteen All minutes. Right, this is also from Pottery Barn. Like I said, someone like cleared out. We have six or seven things that are Pottery Barn tonight, which is awesome to score at the thrift uh, the thrift store because it's typically pretty well made high quality stuff it's just a little candle lantern got a good hanging ring um this was how do you remember how much you paid it's 5.99 i think or 5.95 it's from goodwill it was like 5.99 uh it's gonna be 24.95 from us i'm just moving things along while i'm up here I paid $2 for this. The lid um, was broken and they fixed it. I mentioned that in the listing and I'm selling it for $12.95. The chocolate. I just think it would be so good at a, in a hot cocoa bar. All right, I'm going to just keep moving stuff over by you. Egg baskets. If you need, these are great gathering baskets. They're also good for uh, just holding things on your counter. We do like to do this a little bit larger one because they're very aerated. This one's $22.95. I think this one was $1.50 and this one was a buck. Jamie takes the tags off of these on me so that she can get good pictures of them. I forget and then to put I don't them back. know what they cost. <laughs> but typically, something like this, we don't spend more than two, three dollars at the most. BLB says, um, I'm blown away by the prices of your thrifting. Yeah, they're good. They're it's good. good. Even our Goodwill wasn't too bad. Yeah, the Goodwill. I mean, what we got was like pretty high end stuff from the Goodwill. So, it, you know, you pay a couple extra bucks. It's okay. I see a bunch of people are um, popping in here. If you are wanting to um, purchase anything, it's all for sale at jamierayvintage.com. Kaylin is dropping links now. If are you need specific, right um, we're up to 828. Nice. We we're at 700 and something a minute ago. Thank so you for sharing see. it out. That helps us out, guys. Oh, the spoon did sell. So hopefully the right person that wanted it bought it. 
Um, and, did you and show Caitlin them the is fixing kit spellings? Yet? What? Did you show them the craft? Oh no! Yet? And we got to announce the winner, so we're going to do that. Oh, go Caitlin, let's think about the same time. Okay, so Facebook winner. So we do this thing where if you share on Facebook, we pick from a lot of different posts. So it can be any post on Facebook. We pick two people every week to send happy mail to say, "Hey, thanks for sharing our stuff." Um, and the winners this week are Stella Mary Surowitz and Michelle Bock B O U C K. If that's you, be sure to email info at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin will get your mailing address and we'll mail you something fun. Easy as that. All right. These, do you remember? Do you remember what you paid? Yeah, it's on the side. Mm, oh, there it is. $2. was hiding from me. $2 each. I, it, back in the day, would have painted those each. lids, but natural wood is coming back. It's so. coming back strong. I like a balance of painted and not painted. I was about to just say the same thing. Like, I feel like you can really overdo it, and it feels like a dark, heavy, like, game room slash den uh, that can be really overdone really quick. You got to, uh, like, what's coming back in style is, like, light, airy, like, pieces that, you know, bring bring warmth to your room, but don't overwhelm it with, like, dark, heavy, mahogany-type looks. All right. And those are how much each? $16.95. $16.95. All right. So before I forget, if you are, oh, you almost dropped those. If you're just tuning in and you missed our live this morning, we did, we put together this month's craft kit. It comes with the three cast afternoon. iron hooks, like five hours ago. the molds. It comes with all the paint you need to layer. And the video shows you how to get the chippy finish. Um, and it includes shipping and it's $42.95 if you sign up for quarterly 49.95 if you just want it once and you're also going to get the wood to put it on so everything you need to put this together except for the screwdriver to put the screws in i'm even sending glue so you can put the molds on and then we're also going to include you only get one piece of wood but zeb does on severboard in the video he shows you how to use a paint inlay and you're going to get a portion of a paint inlay you can use it on your piece if you want to. Everybody's inlay is going to be different. It's mostly just for playing and practice. I just want you guys to try inlays. So I thought this would be a great way to get samples into your hands if you have the craft kit. And he used one inlay and did just kind of a repeating pattern. So this side is the first impression. And that was this so side fast. Is the like we even heat gunned it. And within like five minutes, I had that design on there. And it's paint that's in, embedded into the other paint. So. Even if you don't get a craft kit, be sure to check out the video because we show you how to make a coat rack and do a chippy paint finish. And I share some tips and tricks on paint resist and everything. So, all right. Okay. Yeah, the inlay is a bonus item. I just thought it'd be fun to send a little something extra in the craft kit. So Fire King milk glass with gold beaded uh, rim on it. This was $2.99 at the Goodwill. Thrifted it uh, in our, we went to three different, four different stores. Three. Three. Um, it's going to be eighteen ninety five on this. And then Jerlyn said she saw the craft kit at the shop today, and it was so cute. Thank you. Well, we have it back. We I went and stole it. Yeah, we stole it because <laughs> I was like, shoot, I need to show it in the video today, and I'll probably get that back over the shop before Tuesday because I always forget that people come into the shop that might want the craft kit. So. So this is going to be a thrift store marriage. Different styles, but we're going to paint them so that they match. Um, this one was $2.99 and this one was $1.99 at the Goodwill. Together, painted to match, they're going to be $39.95. I think they'll be a good set because I like the variance and height and the bases are both square. So while they're different, once they're painted, they'll look alike with a little bit of like variances. It'll I love that. make a match matching. without being matchy-matchy. I've actually made completely not matching painted together and look good. So... I feel like this is going to be fun because it's got a lot of similarities. Oh, this is the paint pile. So this one, you'll be surprised to know I'm not painting. It's black. I don't know if the picture picks it up, but it has a whitewash on it, and it's just good. Like, it has a really good age to it, so I thought, why not just sell it as is? It is pretty tall, and it was $3, and I found it out in the yard. I didn't get the footage on Monday's video because the music was really loud, and I wasn't worth dealing with getting the music off there but i was really surprised that zeb didn't pick it up he didn't see it it's hiding on the floor mm -hmm. and it's going to be 29.95 slow things yeah, it's really cool if it doesn't sell i might repaint it but it's almost got like a gray wash it's like white and gray with a little bit of cream it's really good i kind of want to recreate the look okay so we got these two pictures here um jamie had a fancy name about the wheat for this one 
So that is Libby's okay. is the brand. Wheatgrass? That's no, just wheat. Okay, so it was two dollars. It's the, the wheat on here is green. I don't know if you can oh yeah, you can see that. Um, and it's gonna be $22.95. This one I love the shape on it, and it's got like gold along the top. It almost looks like wind blowing. Maybe it's meant to look like the juice Water. in there. I, is I think all I called it curly cues. It's a vintage Libby wheat pitcher. That's what that picture was. Um, somebody asked if we ship to Australia. Australia, we do. Sorry, it's getting late. Um, just email info at jamierayvintage.com. Make sure that Jamie does not have an E on the end. Um, and Caitlin can help you get a quote for shipping. Yeah, we have to know what you want. And then we got to find out how much it weighs and how big it is and what box it'll fit in. And then we can get you a quote. <laughs> yeah, because the website just isn't super accurate. Okay, so that one is $19.95. Yep, $2 on this one as well, $19.95 on it. Okay, let's show them your, yes. your charcuterie board. So this is just... You know, this is not anything ultra fancy. It's, like, I don't even, it looks like maple, but it's darker than most maple. So I'm on And the this fence. is for like, you find a little bowl that fits in there. Yep. Someone glued this together, but they did a bad job. So I'm going to re-break that, make sure that it's glued back together. And then so that it doesn't look like a janky repair. If you watched our Friday video, we had some of these like brass tags. They're pretty heavy duty metal, actually. They're, they're pretty thick. I'm gonna do a repair with this tag. I'll probably get rid of this top portion and just leave it square, but I'm gonna do a metal repair on it like I like to do. Usually I use copper or tin to do this, but I think this brass will work just as well, and that's gonna be pretty cool. Just know if you pick this up, I may not get it done before we leave to England, so you're gonna be waiting for a minute until we get back so I can finish. I'm gonna try, but I have a thousand things to do. It's a lot. The list is long and I can't do that. So it's not a Jamie can pick up the slack. All right. Sometimes if he can't get to something, I'll do it. Zeb picked up this flower. It is broken, but it's been repaired. It was $2. We are going to paint it and make it look good. And it'll be $18.95. It only had one petal broken and I did the, the glue test. I always, you know, grab it by where it was repaired to see if it'll break. You know, because it's already broken. If it's going to break there again, then you're good to go. But it did not. So it's going to it get passed a the job. Zeb stress test. Yep. Yep. Cute little tarnished silver basket. This is actually a um, prize. It's engraved. It says That's why I Utah got it. State it's Fair, award. 1995. I don't know, something. Champion waterfowl. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a dollar. And I don't. I don't know what the price is. So. Did uh, you didn't say a price, so maybe this one didn't make that. it. Caitlin, if you can't find that, I probably need to listen. Maybe that next it'll week. get added for next week with preview. Monday's call. All right, this but is it's just a trophy. I love trophies, so I get them all. Enamel tray. It's heavy, a good weight to it. It was a dollar fifty, and we're selling it for sixteen ninety five. And then Zeb's gonna rapid fire the pile of trays, and then we have. Before he does that, I'll show you guys this. It's apple season. It is a brand new Pampered Chef in the box, apple peeler core slicer. It was $2 or $3, had two price tags. I don't know what we paid. And it'll be $15.95. It even has the styrofoam and everything. The shipping ladies are gonna love me because it'll be easy to ship. All right, you ready? You ready for it? 75 cents from the thrift store. It's gonna be $14.95. This is a perfect little Christmas tray. I've uh, got a nice repeating pattern on there. Um, this Will one the flower here, be outside ready? I'm not sure. Is I, what ready? The flower. If we paint it with cottage color, it will be, but I'm super tired, so I'm not sure I can remember that. <laughs> so we'll no see. promises. We'll see. Um, this was $1.50. This, is this hand-painted? It looks like it might have been. It feels like it might have been, but I can't tell if it's hand-painted or print. Either way, it's a good job. It's going to be $38.95. We're not reprinting over this floral. This reprinting, is, you mean repainting? Or repainting. This is. We are going to get some serious dawn and elbow grease because that has kitchen fur like nobody's business. All right. I got this big platter. I don't know if it's a serving platter or just for looks. It does have something to hang it on the wall in the back. It's got a little brass D ring back here. It was $10 at the thrift store. It looks Dutch. We it's saw got windmills and yeah. wooden shoes. So I've seen several designs on this. This is my favorite with the little windmill in the background. Um, some of these were going for well over a hundred dollars. Ours is at $79.95. And I have painted these before, but I just feel like the size of this, I kind of like it brass. So we're going to leave it the way that it is. And then I got this tray. 
this tray here is hand painted for sure. So, because you can feel the raised um, detail on the painting. This was made to hang on a wall, I guess. Someone hung it on a wall like art, but I just thought it would be amazing uh, on like a coffee table or something. Centerpiece on your table, but not repainting this. This one is going to be $38.95. I think I paid $4 for it. That's a big one. Yeah, it's big tray. It's heavy, heavy duty wood. You know, Zeb never leaves a clock behind. This was $3. We're going to repaint the frame. It's got a not great um, paint finish on it. And it will be $24.95 once it's been painted. And then we have another il polished aluminum. Now, this, it said it was a champagne bucket that with a, I don't know, champagne. I'll have to wait till Caitlin shows the listing. To me, it just looks like a bowl with a pedestal, but apparently it's made to like put ice and champagne in. Clearly, I don't drink, so I don't know these things. Um, it was $3 and it's made in India. It's polished aluminum. And where's the price of? Uh, it may have fallen off. It's an unknown amount. It's right there. You touched where? it like eight times. It's $29.95. Oh, I'm like, where did it go? It's $29.95. I think oh, that's it. I think we made it. It's a handcrafted footed champagne bucket. That's what it's called. Footed champagne bucket. <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. To me, it's just a bowl. It's a pedestal. So. All right. We covered a lot of things tonight. Did you guys take notes? Did you remember all that? I don't even know if I remembered. It is 929. <laughs> so we got it done in just under an hour. If you guys want to shop along, it's jamierayvintage.com. Please hit that share button. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode, which now will probably go, be Monday. Yeah, for sure. We'll be thrifty. It will be Monday. Uh, now we got to go hunt down all the kids and get them back home. It says it has to be big enough for a champagne bottle with ice all around it. It's in movies and shows rich people parties. Mm. Bougie. All right. Well, now it can be in your party for $29.95. <laughs>